Hey! Do something! Help. Fucking help! Do help. help. He's blind! That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. This don't look like the way to no credit alley to me. Shit, man. With traffic and all, this way is fast. Don't move, kid. Now hold on, hold on, what, what, hold on. Forget it. He's fucking dead. Oh yeah, poor bastard, man. You are a fucking moron. Whoa. Hey, I just spent the past few hours torturing a seemingly innocent guy to death, and I don't even know why I did it. So does that make me a fucking moron? You're going down, punk. At the exact moment I get bored with you, your little racket will end. Yeah. Yeah, you love those fucking tough guy lines, don't you, huh? Fuck you! to save your ass, and now he's gone! And so's my boat! What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. Until so you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Get ready with the bone saw and the rib spreader. You might want to hold your nose. I told you! 
He ain't my Gila! Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers! Kill him! Hey, Kevin hey, Phillips no. isn't coming! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, I ain't even gonna make a tasty hamburger! I only drink broccoli juice! This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people. <laughs> 